and run it out for the Illawarra Steelers. The winners of the Challenge Cup and mighty fine winners indeed. Of course, great rivalry between these two Steel City clubs, the Illawarra Steelers and the Newcastle Knights. But it's a very friendly rivalry too. But there certainly won't be any love lost out there today as David Boyd takes on David Walsh and brings him down just shy of the 22. Skiffle Lady at dummy half. The captain, Chris Walsh, makes some good metres and gets up over the 22. A trifecta of tacklers there for the Knights, including Sergeant and also the hooker, David Mullane. Now the kick in, and it's down to the fullback, Bradley Godden, from Black Hill, a suburb just north of Newcastle. A youngster with an enormous amount of potential, and he's brought down just short of halfway. Skiffaluti with a restart for uh, Illawarra. McIndoe was uh, way offside, but uh, Ian Parnaby said, well, let it go. Certainly wasn't intentional, and now there is a penalty to the Newcastle Knights, the first penalty of the day. John Schuster for the Knights, the former New Zealand All Black. Moves in now about uh, 23, 24 metres out directly in front of the uprights. Moves in, trying to put first points on the board for the Newcastle Knights at the Winfield Cup, and it's away to the left. Playing with a lot of confidence at the moment. They go the short side, Sargent. The form four to the Newcastle Knights the last couple of seasons, but the Illawarra Steelers slam him back. Girdler was in there along with Dale Fritz and also Craig Izzard, but the Steelers caught up inside the five. And this will be another opportunity for John Schuster. The Knights just pressurising the Steelers at the moment. So John Schuster now, missed with his first attempt, has a chance to make amends and put Newcastle on the board. Moves in, strikes this one a bit better and straight over the red dot here at Marathon Stadium. So after five minutes of play in this match between the Steelers and the Knights, the Knights lead two points to nil. Ian Russell, the tackler, last tackle now. Brett Rodwell, uh, Matthew Rodwell, I should say, the kick. Had him in the wrong team there for a moment. Now David Riolo, and the linesman's in. Now it's back uh, just inside the Knights' half. Referee Ian Parnaby being called back by Brian Gately, it is, the uh, linesman. And let's see who's being called out. I think it's a slight indiscretion by Chief there on a... Uh on a chaser through for the uh, the kicker. So far for the Illawarra Steelers, Bournemouth with Western Suburbs moves in, strikes it well, but it's away to the left, is it? Yes, it is. And the score remains 2-0 in favour of the Knights. After that indiscretion by Paul Harrigan, seems as though he held the uh, player back after they uh, got rid of the ball. Good chase by the Illawarra Steelers. Gordon to Kemp. Trying to find a bit of room. Links up with Schuster now. Can he get around McIndoe? Steps inside him off the right. Has got pace, John Schuster. Looks inside to Tony Kemp. They're trying to link up Ashley Gordon. Ashley Gordon's away. They won't catch pace from there. And Ashley Gordon, the first Newcastle Knights try for 1992. Right under the sticks. Put that down to Johnny Schuster. He made the initial break. Linked up with his teammate, Tony Kemp, and they're away. And Kemp did very well to link up with Ashley Gordon. Here we go. Here's Tony Kemp just skirting the, skirting the ruck wide. Finds John Schuster who skirts down. Alan McIndoe uncharacteristic. Misses that tackle. Quite an easy. Johnny Schuster here. Back to Tony Kemp who fires a great pass. Ashley Gordon, put your glasses down. No one will catch Ash from that far out. Great try of the Newcastle Knights. Not scared to uh, shift the ball on any part of the field. John Schuster now coming in to try and convert the Ashley Gordon try. Does so successfully in a marathon stadium after 15 minutes of play. The Newcastle Knights lead the Illawarra Steelers eight points to nil. They've come up with the error so far. That's exactly right. Whether it's good play from the Knights or just that lack of uh, ball control on that last final pass. The Illawarra are a very good side. They've proved that last week. They beat all comers in the Challenge Cup. They'll be a handful today. Walsh, good strong run from Walsh. Has the time to get the pass away. Now Girdler, chance to make amends. Cleaned up there by Schuster. Plays the ball quickly to Skifaluti. Walsh overruns it, but Simon picks it up to Russell. Russell now out to McGregor. Two on two, McGregor with pace. 
has Doherty in support. Doherty nowhere to go. He thought about going back inside. Last tackle for the Steelers, cleaned up by Gordon. Gee, Gordon's defence has impressed me so far in this game too. Up goes the bomb from John Simon. Riolo got flattened. Brunker makes a meal of it. The Steelers in possession, six to go. Fritz with the ball. And they're caught short about eight out from the line. Here's a real chance for the Steelers. By gee, they've got numbers on the left. If they spread it to the left, they've got a score, surely. Russell now. Out to Walsh. Should have let it go first half, David Walsh. They had the numbers. They had three overlaps. And he just hung on to it. McGregor with that, sir. Girdler with the ball. Chris Walsh now. And is brought down by David Mullane. Still 10 metres out for the Knights line. Here's Morrissey. Morrissey trying to centre play. Pushes off Sergeant, but uh, Sergeant hangs on to him. And they're about eight metres out from the line. Skiffaludi at dummy half. Switches play to Wizard. And the Knights defence holds firm. Last tackle coming up for the Steelers now. They'll rue that chance on the left. Simon. Simon now. The little chip kick. The little bomb. And it's going to be too far. Good tackle by Ashley Gordon right around the bootlaces. Ash is making the most of his opportunities. He's very, very keen. His, his work from second mark is sensational. That's not a bad tackle either from Arrigan. Well, we you're going to be a front row pick on the winger. That's exactly right. McIndoe brilliantly picked up by the winger. He's nearly around Brunker. Steps out of Brunker's tackle. No, he doesn't. Oh. Somehow Brunker was able to hang on, but McIndoe was away. The sixth time the Knights have been caught short on that side. Skiffaludi now. Russell, they've got numbers on the right. Shows it once. Gives it to McGregor, and he's brought down right on halfway by Harrigan and uh, also Stewart. But Tony Kemp it was. Russell now, scampers from dummy half. Around the bootlaces this time, Harrigan. Hangs on, plays it back, Russell. Now to Simon, the kick, just in behind Godden. But that's a better kick from Johnny Simon. Godden did very well, nearly knocked it on. Sees a little gap, but it closed quickly. Dale Fritz is there to bring him to ground on the 22. A fair bit of the play in the last 10 minutes have been in the Knights' territory. That's exactly right, the game's just changing a little. Illawarra must... Now control the game up this night's end of the park. 12 minutes to go in the first half. The Newcastle Knights lead eight points to nil. After that try by Ashley Gordon and a goal to Johnny Schuster. Marquette makes the blue. Gordon dives on it and the scrum will go down 24 metres out from the Knights line. Well, that didn't even go in the scrum at all. Play on. McGregor. Brought to ground just short of the 22. Doesn't seem to matter these days, just as long as the ball comes out one way or the other. <laughs> Uh, not forcing the ball on the ground, the Knights. McIndoe. McIndoe. Gets the ball back to uh, John Cross, who's on for the Illawarra Steelers. Simon now to Skiffaludi. Can they set something here, the Steelers? Cuts out one. Riolo's up in the line. And they bring him down just still short of the 22 by a metre. Russell now. Nearly makes a meal of it, but did well to get the ball to Skiffaludi. The defence closed quickly. Marquette. Marquette's got through a mountain of work in this first half. Now Simon, sights a little gap, turns it back into Craig Izzard. Izzard now about five metres out from the Knights line. Last tackle. They're still short on the right, the Knights. Out it goes. Simon cuts out one to Riolo. Riolo, brilliant hands to Fritz. Fritz now to Girdler and he's wrapped up. Somehow slips the ball to well, McIndoe, but it's over the sideline. Penalty. The, Knights, and the penalty goes to Willowarra. Referee playing on with the advantage there. Justified penalty. Knights a little bit too keen. They had to scramble. They got caught out. So Brett Doherty has the ball placed on the 22, 11 in from touch on the left-hand side of Marathon Stadium. On the eastern side of the field, trying to get Illawarra on the board before half-time. Moves in now, strikes it, and it's away to the left once again. So the score remains here with nine minutes to go. The Newcastle Knights 8 lead the Illawarra Steelers yet to score. Rodwell. Cuts out Marquette to Godden. Tries to link up with Harrigan. Interception. Dale Fritz is away as he got the pace to go on with it. Actually Gordon's good. coming across. Adrian Brunker from the other side. They'll get him. They'll bring him down just short of the try line. But by G, a good interception by the Illawarra Steelers. The Knights now. Will they give away a penalty here? Wishart's there. They've got the numbers. They must score here. And it's Johnny Cross who's going to score right under the posts. The Illawarra Steelers bounce back from that interception. Dale Fritz made the break, and no one from the Knights made any effort to get back in defence at all. And any one of five or six Illawarra players could have scored that try. Wishart making an impression. Here it is again. He moved to the dummy half position. Tony Kemp tried to strike for the ball. There's only Brad Godden there to try and stop them. 
And as you've had it was Rod Willen cross scored right under the posts. I think you could have scored that, Mike. Here we go. Rod Wishart at dummy half. No one at home for the Knights. Matthew Rodwell had to try and force that play and stop the ball there. Here Once is the head-on shot. Once again, Wishart just had to link up with Cross. Any one of five or six could have scored that try, and Johnny Cross did the deed right under the posts. And Rod Wishart will come in to try and make the scoreline eight points to six in favour of the Knights. Rod Wishart now nine metres out directly in front. He could throw it over from here. There it is, straight over the black dot. Gets his arms free, gets it back to Godden, who sights a little gap. No support again from the Newcastle Knights. All of a sudden it was uh, Marquette and Glanville who decided to try and uh, link up with Godden. Now here's the captain, Hagen. Had Harrigan in support on the right. Took the tackle. Last tackle for the Newcastle Knights. The halftime siren is gone. Play on says Parnaby. Rodville throws Forward. it to Brunker. An awful looking pass. Forward Brunker pass. with a kick and Ford pass says Parnaby. And that will be half time. And half time here at Marathon Stadium. The Newcastle Knights lead the Illawarra Steelers. Eight point. Now Rodwell. No runners for the Newcastle Knights. Had no options there at all. Matthew Rodwell had to die with the ball. Yeah, that's that's the trend. Marquette. He runs it up nice and straight. Last tackle coming up for the Knights now. They go the short side. Glanville, Sam Stewart. Stewart with a little kick, trying to find touch. It's going to stay in field. Riolo nearly makes a mess of it. Johnny Schuster up quickly and uh, ankle taps him as Stewart finishes him off. A metre out from his own line. Better chase that time by the Knights. That's right. They're showing a bit of the urgency now. They must get the Loire inside their 22. Force the Loire into kicking only to halfway. Hagen and they force him back nearly to the in goal area. McIndoe did very well to stay in the field of play. The Illawarra pretty players now in a bunch. Pretty ordinary play the ball too. Harrigan doing a mountain of work helped by Sam Stewart. Ten from their own line. Now Chris Walsh. He straightens the attack. Last tackle coming up for the Steelers. Well that wasn't to play the ball at all and the scrum will go down. So Rod will feed the scrum for the Newcastle Knights. And Simon moves up on him very quickly. That ball came out uh, like a rocket, and he did well to field that. Glanville. Now they all run around him. Hagen has to straighten. So they're trying some planned moves, but I think there's a few getting a little bit confused out there at the moment. Stewart now. He takes a settler right in front of the sticks, 12 out. The crowd starts to urge the Knights on. Rodwell, Marquette. And there was plenty of covering defence by Illawarra on that occasion. Mullane now. They come back to the grandstand side. Hagen gives it to Rodwell. Sees a little gap. Trying to link up. Does so. Gotten to can't handle. They make a bit of a meal of it. Six to go, says yeah. referee Parnaby. And that was a good decision. As uh, Gurla got a hand of that. Schuster just, now. Six to go again. They just need to settle the Knights and set up for one set. One set play. That's all they require. You really could throw a blanket over him again. Mullane turns it back inside to Harrigan. But the defence from Rillawarra stands firm. He gets his arms free. Rodwell now. That's still about nine metres out from the Illawarra line, the Newcastle Knights. Glanville at dummy half. Stewart. Stewart now looks to run straight, but he's held up about five out. Mullane moves to dummy half once again. Hagen now. Hagen looks to link up. Gives it to Godden. Godden to uh, Harrigan. And he couldn't get his arms free to get the pass away. But Godden cleans up and they're still in possession, the Newcastle Knights. Numbers the short side. Hagen this time. Gives it to Glanville, standing out amongst the backs. But he's brought down in a very good tackle by Rod Wishart. Gets up, plays the ball. Last tackle. Kemp, hands free. Throws it behind Stewart. He flicks it up to David Boyd. Boyd now to Godden. Godden now. The little chip kick in. Held back. It could be a penalty here to the Newcastle Knights. Referee. No. Referee Parnaby says that Illawarra will have the dropout. Second half. It's, I think uh, the Knights, all they need is one inspirational play from someone such as Paul Harrigan. Or, um, or this young fella. Godden did very well with a wet ball, but Russell just hangs on. Brunker now. Oh, the, oh nearly an interception. What Rod Wishart hit Tony Kemp with everything. Awesome. What a big tackle from what Rod Wishart. Six to go. Morrissey now. Can they capitalise the Steelers? As I just talked about, Mike, uh, what they, the Knights need is an inspirational play. That could be just the turning point for Illawarra. Walsh now takes it up. They're inside the 22, the Steelers. Skiffalidi at dummy half. They go the short side again. Cross to McGregor. Wishart overran him. But he was going to hang on to the ball. Ten out. Skiffalidi now. The, the line is set beautifully. 
Simon now thought about the pass, does so now. Skiffer Liddy, little basketball pass over to Russell. They had the numbers, but he centers it play once again for the Steelers. Now Skiffer Liddy. Stock and trade from Dean Skiffer Liddy. And will we see a penalty? Oh, the lines and touch judges in. David Boyd stood his ground there, I feel. Well, both touch judges come in to have a chat to uh, referee Barnaby, and David Boyd marches straight out. So the penalty goes to the Illawarra Steelers, and Rod Wishart will move up to try and level the scores here at Marathon Stadium. Rod Wishart now, trying to level the scores. 15 out, moves in, strikes it well, and it's straight over the red dot here at Marathon Stadium. So we're all tied up with 26 minutes to go. It's 8-all. Cormick now, 8-all at, the, at uh, the Marathon Stadium. Michael Hagen to Schuster. Schuster steps off the right again by Gee's but a magnificent step. Gives it to Brunker. Brunker gives it to Rod Rodwell. Rodwell back to Hagen, and the Knights are in. Oh, brilliant try the Knights. Give it down to Johnny Schuster once again. That right foot step is Well, Johnny Schuster, the former All Black Rugby Union International, has said all along that he desired to play in the centres, and he really is proving his worth today. The little switch of play. Hagen gave the ball to Schuster. There's the big step. He served McGregor all ends up. Got out of Russell. Got the ball to Brunker. Brunker did well to get it back to Rodwell. Rodwell linked up with Hagen, and it came off. And the captain's in to score. And what a timely try for the Knights. Johnny Schuster, two from three so far today. He's 21 metres out from the line, 15 in from touch on the grandstand side of Marathon Stadium. There is the view of Johnny Schuster's attempt here. He moves in now to try and stretch the Knights' lead to a converted try. Moves in now, strikes it, and it's straight over the red dot, a magnificent kick from Johnny Schuster. So the Newcastle Knights, with 19 minutes of play remaining in this opening match of the Winfield Cup for 1992, lead the Illawarra Steelers 14 points to eight. McGregor. O'Meara plays the ball, gets it back again. Just short of the halfway, the Steelers. Plays it to Skifaluti. Now Russell. He's got to do it all again to lift his side. They trail by six points. Good run by John Cross. He's played pretty well since he's come on, Johnny yeah, Cross. He's a very smart player. He's added plenty to the uh, Illawarra attack. Chris Walsh, Marquette. Last tackle now for the Steelers. 15 from the halfway in Knights territory. Simon, the little kick over the top. Gordon is going to have to be quick. Wishart's coming through. Gordon's there. Oh, brilliant tackle by Rod Wishart. Brilliant kick by John Simon and a super chase by Wishart. That's the teamwork the Steelers were involved with. They're a class side. They really are. They, uh, they proved it all last week when they're winning the two is challenge. Here it is again. Gordon did well, but uh, obviously didn't know that uh, Wishart was steaming onto that uh, ball. Uh... David Walsh, good strong tackle by Sergeant. And his front row partner, Harrigan. Sergeant's starting to get a little bit more involved. Good ball to McGregor from Craig Izzard. That 10 yards out the Steelers. Good set of six here by the red and whites. They go the short side. Izzard now. He's close to the line. He's going to score, is he? Try. No. no, short of the line. Looked awfully close there. Craig Izzard plays the ball. Skiffer Russell. The little chip kick in behind. McIndoe's there, but cleaned up by Robbie O'Davis and forced into touch. <laughs> Remaining at Marathon Stadium. 12 minutes now. And the Knights lead 14 points to eight. John Simon nearly through the gap, closed very quickly. Mullane and Marquette, the tacklers, Schifolini, they go to the eastern side of Marathon Stadium. Blank. Harrigan brings Blank. down David Walsh. 10 metres out, Schifolini, they switch play. Simon, they've got the numbers out here again if they can move it quickly. McGregor trying to link up with McIndoe, but he overran him. And good tackle again by Johnny Schuster. McIndoe decides to go on his own. Still 10 metres out, the Steelers. Throwing everything at the Newcastle Knights. McGregor, Simon. Now to John Cross. They move the ball quickly. Russell, good ball to Craig Izzard. Knocked down, six to go, surely. It is. John Cross now. Out to Brett Dockett. He was on for the Steelers. He's wrapped up and brought down 12 metres out for the Knights line. The Steelers now. Johnny Cross goes straight forward, brought down eight out. 
Gets up, plays the ball to Skifalidi. Walsh, the run around. Skifalidi gets the ball away to Craig Izzard. Makes a bit of a meal of it, but it goes backwards. He straightens up. Now goes straight through a gap. Craig Izzard gives it to Chris Walsh. And he's brought down in a desperate tackle by the Newcastle Knights. Two metres out, Robbie O'Davis and also Robbie McCormack. Russell gets around one, gives it to Skifalidi. They look forward and he's got it down and that's a try. Sustained pressure. That's a matter of 16 tackles the Knights have to defend for there. Possibly a bit dicey, the ball in the end. But the Illawarra have been playing amazing football right on the advantage line as we see it once again. The ball from O'Meara here is coming out to Russell. Dave Mullane forcing. Well, if that's not Ford. Well, I'm not here. But tries on. Once again, Robbie McCormick and uh, Robbie O'Davis did well. O'Meara to Russell to Skiffalidi, boil it onto it. And there was no way known Robbie O'Davis was going to hold him out and Skifalidi's grounded no. the ball. Once and the Newcastle Knights lead 14-12. But Illawarra have got a kick to come from Brett Doherty to level the score. And that was the tackle from O'Davis and uh, McCormack that uh, stopped Chris Walsh from going over. But here it is, the head-on shot, Russell to Skifalidi. And he gets the ball down. And uh, Doherty moves in now, strikes it well, and it's straight over the dot. And we've got a tight ball game once again with 10 minutes to go. The Illawarra Steelers and the Newcastle Knights, 14 all. Gordon, back to uh, Rodwell with a kick. And it's uh, straight down the throat of O'Meara. Takes it well. Running to the grandstand side, Marquette and Schuster, the tacklers for the Newcastle Knights. Six minutes to go. Still 14 all here at Marathon Stadium. Girdler links up with McIndoe. McIndoe now collared by Branca. That's a good tackle. Trying to go inside. Girdler, the run around with Izzard. Straightens now a good tackle by David Mullane, but still he's going forward. And we've got one Newcastle Knights player is out like a light. Johnny it's Schuster. Uh, Johnny Schuster. Is not well. He's just... Uh, Starting to uh, regain his feet. But he's uh, in Disneyland at the moment. The Knights, as far as defence, are concerned, down to 12. Skifalidi, Russell, they've got numbers here. Straight over the head of McGregor. Doherty did very well. Gets around uh, Gordon, gives the ball back to McGregor, but he can't step out of the tackle of Hagen. Well Desperate stuff by Hagen. Last tackle for the Steelers. Russell now. Skifalidi, hoisted high in the air. Over towards Brunker. Brunker calls for it. Morrissey's there. Hell back. That could be a penalty. We'll have to wait and see. No try, says the test judge of the Knights will have the dropout. Or think... was Morrissey all back there? Oh, I feel he was. I don't think referee Parnaby knew what to do just then. Plenty of pressure there for the referee, but uh, that's why they get paid big money. Here it is again. Skifalidi hoisted it high in the air. The ball fell between O'Davis and also, and there it is. I think it's Robble, is it? And I'm just wondering whether he's held Morrissey back as they scramble for the ball. But the referee said, line drop out. Oh, unfortunate she was lucky situation. not to dive on it, too. Yeah, unfortunate for the Knights. Hey, we've got another Knights player down behind the line. It's Matthew Robble, so the Steelers really finishing all over the top of the Knights at the moment. Matthew Walker's out there for the Knights. The comic and dummy half. Could be a long Nowhere range goal. goal. Rodwell overran him. Hagen now. Hagen may should, maybe should have let it go in the first uh, pass there, but uh, the defence by Illawarra moved up quickly. McCormick gives it back to Sargent. Need one of his customary runs. Hagen to Kemp. Kemp in a little gap. Throws it over to Harrigan. He couldn't handle. Went backwards, said referee Barnaby. Last tackle coming up for the night. Matthew Rodwell. Who's there? Hagen. Hagen has the uh, drop at field goal, but it feels, falls well they short. Need to chase the where's the chase? Oh, Davis is there. Frank in is goal. there, but they can't force him back into in goal. Under a minute to go here at Marathon Stadium. Well, probably uh, a 14 all draw would be a fitting result between these two very good sides to start the Winfield Cup season. O'Meara now. The Knights need possession. Less than a minute to go. And there it is, the full-time siren here at Marathon Stadium. And would you believe it, a 14-all draw. The Newcastle Knights scoring two tries, Illawarra two tries, and both sides kicked three goals apiece. But Jonesy, a very, very intense match and a very good game of football. Yeah, fluctuated um, for both sides. The Knights started out like a train in the first 20 minutes. Then the Steelers took advantage. I really felt that the Steelers are a little bit unlucky not to win this game. They sustained pressure in the second half there. It was really uh, one instance where Michael Hagen scored a very good try, but luck only just changed for the Knights for that 10-minute period. Other than that, the Steelers had the second half. Let's go through. 
through the scoreboard for you. For the Newcastle Knights, Ashley Gordon scored a try in the first half. Michael Hagan scored a try in the second half. For the Illawarra Steelers, John Cross a try in the first half. And Skiffer Leedy a try in the second. For the Newcastle Knights, Johnny Schuster kicked three from four. Brett Doherty won for two for the Steelers. And Rod Wishart was successful with both, his, both of his attempts. The final score for Newcastle Knights, 14. The Illawarra Steelers, 14. Graham, uh, I suppose in some respects a little bit disappointed you didn't come away with both points this afternoon. Well, that's the plan. You go in every week to win and come away with two points. You know, they, they played pretty well. It was a very tight game. But, um, I mean, when I say we're not unhappy to get away with one point at Newcastle, at Newcastle, there's plenty of sides going to be beaten up here. Of course, the uh, way you started the first half, a little bit slowly, but from about the 20-minute mark, you really started to hit your straps. Ian Russell, a key role at the lock position. Yeah, he played pretty well, Ian, and uh, Craig Izzard helped him out, and so did Dale Fritz at 5-8. Uh, Graham, of course, uh, that away tag uh, of not winning too many times away from home is uh, quickly going out the door. Great uh, Challenge Cup here at Newcastle. Great to get one point up here. Yeah, it was. You know, we've, um, we've had a pretty hard campaign in the uh, Challenge Cup. You know, get one point here today after our, our big week is pretty, pretty important to us. Um, now we can get into the usual, you know, weekend Sunday to Sunday football. We've had a lot of travelling and a lot of uh, going away, but uh, we'll be happy to go back to Wollongong next week. Chris, always a, a long trip up here to Newcastle and always a good forward battle against the Knights pack. Yeah, you never get anything for nothing up here. When, you, um, when we come up here, it's going to be a hard game. And especially tied in the forwards, and that's what it was. You were a little bit unlucky not to get away with the two points, but I suppose Graham will be happy with one. Yeah, if you don't get two, you're better off with one, aren't you? Um, we were always chasing them, I thought. You know, they, they got to a lead, and then we fought back, and I thought our blokes hung in there pretty well and kept going. So, you know, we're pretty happy with the draw.